CMOS batteries. Let's talk about them. This we're going to repair and replace the one in this Toshiba Satellite Pro. Of course, you need a battery. It's a 3.6 volt, 40 milliamp. The original is a 30, but 40 will be fine. And some few basic tools. I think even like the flathead screwdriver or the plastic tools for prying will work just fine. Now do bear in mind that I have some broken plastic on this machine. So this one's going to come apart in at least three pieces. So let's begin. So take a small flathead and that comes right out. I'm going to take out what's left of this. Tell the tabs are towards towards you and the keyboard I don't know if there's a screw nope no screws on this one so keyboard lifts right up and there is your CMOS battery just a little tiny thing so I'm gonna carefully pull this out I do want to compare polarities on my replacement because I'm not 100% sure if they're right. Now I'll do that. So yes, that is the original. And, okay, so we get the camera to behave. That is the part number in question. The battery that's here is the hibernation suspend battery. It may go by a different name in the Toshiba world, but that's not necessary to replace it if you don't want to. Unless you're going to use those features, then yes, you'll want to replace it. But we have no plans to do that. Maybe I do just for a demonstration, but beyond that, there is no need to. So, very simple. Do that. Battery is in, top keyboard in. keyboard is in, you put your plastic back in the best you can. At least that's what it's going to be in my case. I do have a donor laptop for pieces like this, so not the end of the world, but this one broke. So, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Your CBOS battery is now replaced, and you should be good to go. If you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism, please feel free to drop them in the comments section. And as always, thank you for watching.